All right, so we're talking about good health habits today. And so one of the main things you need to be aware of is rest. So part of being good and healthy is making sure that you are getting plenty of sleep. How much sleep does a teenager need? About eight to 10 hours. That's a pretty significant amount of time. So think about it. What time would you have to go to bed in order to get at least eight hours of sleep? Are you getting enough sleep? And then with that sleep, we want to make sure it's good quality sleep where your brain is able to process everything from the day and reset and renew. So you need to make sure you don't have any electronics. If you put electronics away, your phone should not be distracting in the middle of the night. You shouldn't be sending other people messages in the middle of the night because we want to make sure that you are making sure you are you and your friends are getting good quality sleep. That's how your brain grows and is able to function the next day. There's plenty of studies of people without sleep who go crazy because they don't have enough sleep. So make sure you are getting enough sleep. And so why is all this? We want to make sure you are working on avoiding fatigue. So there are three kinds of fatigue. So what is this fatigue? The first one is physical fatigue. And so this is one that you probably are most caught with. This is after you run the mile and you're so tired. You just ran. Your muscles are achy and so sore. You're just feeling tired. So that's physical fatigue. And that's one that most people can relate to. They felt that. But there's other kind of fatigue. You also can have mental fatigue. And that's where your brain is focused. You're studying, you're studying, you're focusing, you're in class. You've got to listen and listen, listen. And then you just, your brain just starts drifting off or you start reading the same sentence over and over and over again. Your brain just can't do it anymore. Your brain gets fatigued. And so that's one of the important things of how do you give your brain a rest? Whether it's one of those brain breaks, standing up and moving around, doing some push-ups, that's a way of breaking fatigue. It could be going outside, just changing your setting, doing something to prevent mental fatigue. And that's one of those things you need to work on building up of how do you prevent that. And the last kind of fatigue is emotional fatigue. And that's what we call stress. And that's where if you ever had to cry for something that makes you sad and you're crying and you cry and cry and cry and you just feel tired afterwards. It's, it's tiring. It's draining to have that kind of strong emotion over all the time. And so same thing with stress. So stress is you're worried about something or something is that you're focusing on, having that on and on, continuing to be stressed. It can, it can be damaging to your body. A little bit of stress is okay, and then that's where you try to figure out how do I manage it. And stress can be caused by things at home, things in the family, things that you've got working on at school. But stress is real, and it's something that can take a toll on your body. So that's why it's important you learn how to build stamina. So stamina, you know, with running, you want to make sure that you the more you practice running, the kind of the better your body can handle running longer distances. And then, but with that too, how do you deal with fatigue responsibly? So if you're feeling tired because you've been focusing and studying and studying, what can you do? What kinds of things could you do responsibly? Or if you're feeling stressed out, like, ah, I can't take it anymore, what's something you, you can do? And that's part of being an adult and kind of becoming older is how do you how do you deal with these things? When you're younger, small children, they throw tantrums, they start screaming, and then, then they cry, and then they go to sleep. But what do you do? What, what can you do now that you're a teenager and throwing a tantrum is not quite a good thing to do? What do you think you could do to when it, or, or what do you do when you feel stressed out or when you're just tired, you need to escape from things? What can you do? So no matter what, you need to make sure that to stay healthy, you're taking care of your needs and taking care of rest in all the different ways.